In this video, I'm going to talk about transforming graphs by stretching and shrinking. Let's look at the equation y equals to x squared minus 1 on the program Desmos. As many of us know, y equals to x squared is a parabola opening upwards, and the minus 1 will shift the graph downward by one unit so that the new vertex is now at 0, negative 1. If you would like to know more about shifting of a graph, please refer to another video by clicking at the link at the top right corner. Instead of adding or subtracting a number, let's try to multiply a number to this equation. Let's say y equals to 2 times of x squared minus 1. The new graph is still a parabola, but the shape seems to have changed. Indeed, the graph is vertically stretched by a factor of 2. What do I mean? Let's take a look at different points on these two curves. When x is 0, the original point on this curve is 0, negative 1. The corresponding point on the new curve is 0, negative 2. So the vertical distance between this point and the x-axis has doubled from 1 to 2. How about when x is, let's say, negative 2? The point on the original curve is negative 2, comma, 3, while the point on the new curve is negative 2, comma, 6. And so the distance from the points to the x-axis has doubled to 6 from 3. As you can now see, all the vertical distances from the original graph to the x-axis is doubled to form the new graph. And this is what we meant by vertically stretching the graph by a factor of 2. What if we multiply one-third to this equation instead of 2? Let's try. y equals to 1 over 3 times x squared minus 1. This new graph is vertically shrunk by a factor of one-third from the original graph. What do we mean? Once again, let's take a look at a couple points. When x is 0, the point on the new curve is 0, comma, negative one-third, while the point on the original curve is 0, comma, negative 1. So the vertical distance to the x-axis is one-third of the original. When x is 2, the point on the new curve is 2, 1, while the point on the original curve is 2, 3. So you can see that the new point is once again one-third of the original distance to the x-axis. This factor one-third is applied to every vertical distance to the x-axis. For example, this point is of distance 6 away from the x-axis, and if you drop the vertical line, you can see that the new distance is now 2. This is what we meant by shrinking the original graph vertically by a factor of one third. After vertical stretching and shrinking, we would also like to explore horizontal stretching and horizontal shrinking. For example, I would like to have a parabola so that the horizontal distance is now widened from 1 to 4, and from 2 to 8. That means I would like to have a horizontal stretch by a factor of 4. Because what we now want is a horizontal action, so we would like to change x into something else. What should we do? Let me try this. y equals to parenthesis 1 fourth times x and then all squared minus 1. Bingo! This is exactly what we want. At y equals 0, the horizontal distance between the curve and the y-axis is changed from 1 to now 4. At y equals to 3, for example, the horizontal distance between the curve and the y-axis is changed from 2 to now 
eight. So the new white curve is exactly a horizontal stretch by a factor of four from the original curve. What we can see is that every single horizontal distance to the y-axis is now quadrupled into the new curve. So what have we done to this equation to achieve this horizontal stretching? What we did was replacing x by one quarter of x. Remember, we would like to do horizontal stretching. Why do we want to multiply a number that is less than 1? That sounds shrinking. But wait a second. Because we are replacing x by 1 quarter of x, what we have done is to hold the curve unchanged. Rather, we are shrinking the x-axis on both directions by a factor of 1 quarter. After shrinking by a factor of 1 quarter, this 8 will go here. And as a result, this particular point on the original curve is now having coordinate 8,3, which is exactly this point. And this particular coordinate was 1,0, but it is actually the 4 shrinking to this position, so it's now 4,0. We can also try to understand with this metaphor. Imagine that you are now standing in a room with your arms extended on both sides. Now, you do not change, but the width of the room shrinks so that the walls touch your hand. If we now snap a picture of you and compare it before the room shrinks, then won't it appear that you have magically extended your arms to touch the walls? That is exactly the scenario we now have. OK, so replacing x by a quarter of x means horizontal stretching. Now what if I replace x by 4 times of x instead? What will happen? y equals to parenthesis 4x squared minus 1. This new graph is a horizontal shrink by a factor of one quarter from the original graph. What do I mean? For example, when y equals to 3, the point was 2,3. So the horizontal distance to the y-axis was 2. But on the new curve, the new point is now 0.5,3. So you can see that the horizontal distance shrinks from 2. 2.5, which is a factor of one quarter. Let's summarize what we have seen in this video. If we have the equation y equals to f of x, where f is any function acting on x, and if we change this equation into y equals to c times of f of x, where c is positive, then what kind of transformation are we going to get between the graph corresponding to this equation to the graph corresponding to this equation? The answer is vertical stretch or shrink. It will be vertical stretch if c is bigger than 1. And it will be vertical shrink if c is less than 1. Because of this, we will say that the action is following intuition. This is because our intuition would tell us that when we multiply a factor bigger than 1, then things should get enlarged or stretched. And if you're multiplying a factor less than 1, then things should be smaller or shrinked. Furthermore, this transformation is always producing vertical effect because we are taking the output value of the function and either enlarging it or shrinking it by multiplying the factor c. And changing output values always means producing vertical transformation on the graph. If we want to produce horizontal action, then we should take this equation and transform it into 
y equals to f of c times of x, where c is positive. This will be either a horizontal stretch or a horizontal shrink of this graph. This time, it will be a horizontal stretch if c is less than 1, and it will be a horizontal shrink if c is bigger than 1. Because of this, we say that the horizontal action is counterintuitive. Horizontal action is always counterintuitive because when we replace x by c times of x, we are either stretching or shrinking the x-axis. And so, correspondingly, we are shrinking or stretching the graph. Finally, notice that in this video, the constant c, such as 2, 1 third, 1 quarter, and 4, are all positive. If c is negative, we will tackle it in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel, and we will learn more fun math together. Thank you.